we will be flipping through all the July Disney guys. This July Disney guys is a portrait challenge made by Marie Kick for her portrait July challenge for Kick in the Creatives. All right, guys, you want to see it because it's also for World Tour Watercolor Month for Doodle Wash. Okay, are you ready to go see some Disney guys? Yes. All right, so let's go. Thank you, Mickey, for that wonderful introduction. I am Murray Kid from Murray Kid Studios, and with me is... Mappy from Mappy Colors. Mappy is my niece, and she will be helping me by reacting to some of the pictures that Mickey told us about. So what are we doing today, Mappy? We are flipping through um, July Disney Guys. We are flipping through July Disney Guys, and... We are going to go a little fast, so guys, keep up. There are 31 paintings, all portraits done in watercolor for kicking the creative for hashtag Portrait July and my personal study of July Disney guys plus World Watercolor Month, as Mickey just said. This is Jade. She's my watercolor portrait book and she is 300 gsm and a bao hong sketchbook i like the size she's perfect for portraits my dog is crazy the dog is crazy all right we're going to start off with milo thatch milo thatch is from the movie atlantis the lost empire and it's seriously on underrated movie Mappy and I both like it, but we do love the character Milo Thatch because he is uh, cute. cute and very smart. I do love the fact that he was really funny, really smart, and it's a guy actually who is the star of the show for this Disney film. The second one is... Aladdin. Aladdin from the movie Aladdin. My favorite. Mappy loves this one because it's actually something um, that I painted really well. I love the fact that the color transitions were actually working with me. And the actual lamp looks really good. I, I like this, the background. Mappy likes the background. All right, so Mappy likes the magical background. I like the, the shine on his face, on the lamp, and the actual gradients that are going on with this painting. It actually is one of my favorite paintings as well in this whole book. Not only for July Disney, guys, but in this whole book. Oh, whitey, we're going to do flippity floppity. The third one is no, definitely. Um, her least favorite. My least favorite. Mappy's least favorite. My least favorite painting in this whole book. This is Prince Naveen. Things are going wrong with Prince Naveen. And as I said, this was a daily challenge. So every day was something I would learn. I learned all with this that I have to plan my composition better. My problem with this is that I was doing too much. With so little space, there is Tiana's palace. There was a tree from the bayou. And I should have planned the whole thing better. I should have made him a little smaller or put him a little closer. I would also want to do the anatomy better and the skin tone better. I also corrected his face and mouth because he was going a little wonky. That's why you do a frog. Mappy did a frog for this challenge. Flippity-floppity. And then we are doing... Tough guy. Tough guy, Li Shang from... Captain Li Shang from Mulan. We love this guy. And I really like this after that fail for Naveen. I did something really good this time. And this is it. And I love that jawline. jawline. It can cut you. And he is very tough. Ouch. Mappy said... That he looks like what? A strict math teacher. He doesn't teach math map. He, he teach people how to fight. Well, his face. Huh? Well, his face. Well, his face. Right, we're doing... Is it Jack? It's okay. 
Prince Kit. Prince Kit. And he, what he, who is he actually? He is Prince He's Char- Charming. He's Prince Charming. And this is from the movie Cinderella, the live action in 2015. I wanted to do that version just because one of my friends from Instagram actually pressed Prince Kit. And it was Pixie Dust Jellicle, one of my good cat's friends. Check out her TikToks. She's really good. She does TikToks? She does TikToks. And she does really good cosplay. Okay. What I like about this is the details and the galaxy. The galaxy background was good. My problem with this is the lighting. I did not plan that lighting out very, very well. Next, next is Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow is one of my most requested Disney guys. When I actually put up a poll on my Facebook to ask which Disney guy I was going to draw, his name came up a lot, a lot. He liked Johnny Depp. I also love Johnny Depp, so definitely he was one of the th- people that I really wanted to paint. But I was really scared about this one because I was scared to do him justice. But he pretty. He did it. I I, I really did it right this time, right? So he also has a video, and I painted him with um this time lapse video, so you can check it out below in the description or somewhere around here right so what's next mappy who is next uh i don't know you don't know i don't remember all right who is next is oh, arthur uh, arthur from sword, sword in the, the stone. stone and this guy is actually wart his nickname is wart i like him Mappy likes him. He's a kid. My favorite part is the sword. Look at that detailing and the glow that the sword has. I also like this. Yeah, this misty thing that is going on with the background. Mappy really did a good sword in the stone photo. We will flip through hers and I will link that to the video. Yeah. here because we will be putting that on her channel mappy mappy colors and on her instagram so you can check out what she did for july disney guys and she's 10 so really it's a really good exercise 11. for kids. Well, i'm turning 11 still you're 10 all right he looks like a teenager honestly okay. yeah and that's been a writer i just spoiled it she just spoiled it and the next is the king of the smolder mr flynn rider flynn rider is one really good characters from disney he's my favorite disney guy just because he's he's sassy he's funny he's handsome very sassy and actually he's really cool plus he played the bad guy turn good and very very easily so uh, it turned good the thing with this painting is that um i learned how to focus all my energies on one spot and this is it here uh, if you will notice the rest of the painting wasn't as detailed as the face because i wanted you the audience to look focus. at the face focus on that smolder this guy was based on an actually actual disney cast member from disney florida so kudos to that guy because you really did a good smolder i didn't base his face 100 percent just the expression on his face nice all right my next disney guy is my favorite movie from mappy's favorite movie frozen we did salt and you saw it for the background this time and that is an effect that you get when you put salt on watercolors. I've heard of that, but I haven't done it. Mappy hasn't done it, but we will try it in the next time we paint. Yes. So we're doing some fur and some textures here. Thing I don't like it is I wanted his nose to be bigger. And his, and his mouth to be bigger because... Big mouth, uh, big lips. Big mouth, big lips, and he has a stronger face. I made him a little slimly slim in this one. But, you know, I did it well. People, kids recognized it. And this one also has a time-lapse video. So go check it out. Next 
the next day is the beast and i did the beast mappy did the beast for this one and actually a lot of people would approach me and tell me that this looks like louis from interview with the vampire i haven't seen the movie so i could not attest for that a young brad pitt mappy said it is based on a young brad pitt and she is absolutely correct and so i really did base it off a young brad pitt with a with his longer hair plus i really like the stained glass background it looks old it looks dirty and that's it looks, what it's supposed to be that's what it's supposed to be absolutely correct girl my next disney guy is tadashi with baymax as a creeper tadashi with baymax as a creeper because the because this one I he has an Asian name so I wanted to give him a classic Asian look and not just you know just the American looking Tadashi that we have in, in Big, Big Hero, Hero 6. 6. I wanted to give him actually an actual Asian flair so don't slam He's me on this one. a K-pop dude looking like. He looks like a K-pop dude so hmm, I did get the asian thing right one thing i got it right as well was his grandpa, grandpa coat and his brown cardigan which he wears it's so hot that's so hot he's in america now oh okay the next one is jim hawkins jim hawkins from the treasure planet mappy and i revisited this movie a few weeks ago very underrated mappy and thinks that it's very underrated i do too i did base it on tom holland you can see it somehow yeah and also i think he's the perfect jim hawkins uh things i did right with this the hair but not so much the clothes i did the ball right at the very least I was still working through a lot of kinks with this, but you know, Jim Hawkins, any fan of art of Jim Hawkins is just pure love. Woody, classic Toy Story. Classic Toy Story Woody. And I did a coloring book style Woody wherein I actually inked a lot of it. Used marker. I used marker for this. And watercolors as well it's called the ink and wash technique as you can see i did not let my paint dry in between and i did it in one go the whole process took maybe 15 minutes because it's like a kid yeah next is a very cute prince but not really known a very cute prince mappy loves him i do too his name is prince florian Prince Florian. Prince Florian is the OG prince, the original prince, and he was in which movie? Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Okay. Snow, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, and he is 83 years old. This 83 year old man. He looks like a teenager is uh, actually has a name a lot of the viewers just call him the prince from snow white the prince from snow white but he has a name he's french he has a wonderful voice he has bright blue eyes I think he can sing yeah he does sing and then he has the cool hair i did a fresh background on him really cool leaves yeah cool 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 all right we are doing brown maui brown maui and you're welcome, welcome guys because this maui was done over at ig live i have a recap of how i did it over at my ig tv you can find me at little miss marikit on instagram my favorite part is the tattoo thingies mappy did also the tattoo thingies i had fun inking all of these in sumi ink with a brush so it's been a while since i actually handled sumi ink and brushes it's and brush cute. inking so i was having a ton of fun with it it was relaxing plus i had a few friends who i talked to over at instagram when and visited me while i was painting so really really fun plus i did a really cool chub chub guy Chup chup. What I like about chup chup people is their cheeks. Alright. 
Flippity flippity. Flippity flippity. Who's next, Mappy? Kokum. Kokum from? Pocahontas. Not a lot of people know it. It's an underrated. And po Pocahontas is one of those Disney movies that was based on actual history. So Kokum was actually married to Pocahontas. Did you know that? No. Nope. Okay, with this one, I learned a lot about the Indian, American Indian history. So I learned something from my friends over at Discord. That actual American Indian guys ha have very feminine faces because of two things. First of all, it's the high cheekbones and the smaller features. Plus, they have really long, beautiful hair. So they really look very feminine but you have to look at their strong strong bodies and their beautiful skin tone he has abs he has abs yes the, the maui has flabs he has abs he has abs flabs and abs all right so mappy said that he looks hurt no it's just a war paint mappy don't yeah. worry about it he's not hurt that's coco <laughs> he can handle it you think he can handle it of course okay the Liberty next jibbers. one, Liberty Jibbers, we have another brown guy. This time, this guy got lost. Tarzan. So, it's Tarzan from Tarzan. Slash debunked Elsa's brother, not. Okay, so there was a movie rumor going on before Frozen 2 came out that he was actually Elsa's brother. That the ship that came, that was shipwrecked was actually shipwrecked in an island where tarzan is so debunked he, so mappy said that it was debunked it was true because the actual movie frozen 2 discussed that the appearance of elsa actually we're looking for her powers we're looking for her snow powers so with this one i really did it fast and cool and loose with this one, it is very dirty because he he lives in the jungle. Who's clean in the jungle? Um, no one. No one, okay. And I did a lot of lost edges and I hid him in the trees again. You would see that a lot coming up with my painting. It's a theme that I really have going on. Also, yes. with this one, it came up very fast. As I said, it was loose. I wanted to give that energy to this painting that it he was frantic and rushed. Yes. Next is... Next is a very sweet painting. One of the sweetest paintings that Aww. I've ever done in my life. This is Christopher Robin, Robin and... and Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. All right, so let's stop singing. All right, so with this one, I really, really love how he turned out. I based the post off the actual A.A. A. Milne son. Yes. So there was a picture of his son holding a teddy bear like which this, was which, is, which was Winnie the Pooh. The bear was old and dilapidated, but... I replaced him with Pooh and Christopher Robin, the character. One thing about this painting that I did not expect, it was one of the most like paintings I've ever done for July Disney, guys. Somebody knows that it's did, and now I cannot unsee it. One of the eyes is severely mismatched, so this eye is probably that one. Uh, lesson learned, I have to flip the whole picture before I submit it or scan it or even paint it when I have the sketch so I know where the features go. So now I am looking at it and it's not matching up to me. But still a very sweet looking painting. Next is Hercules. Hercules. He went the distance and... He He's a very I strong character, that. but Mappy did a really cute baby version of this. I did the adult version. He was glowing. And Mappy was glowing. Mine is not glowing. In fact, mine is just sun-kissed. Really, really tan. <laughs> because he's from Greece. Well, yeah. He looks very sad here. Mappy thinks he looks very sad. Looks like he's about to cry. No, he's not about to cry. Hercule, Hercule doesn't cry. 
but i did him in gouache so my strokes are a little bit wonky i'm still learning the process of trying to use gouache yeah herky's herky another one of my favorite paintings is prince eric prince eric prince eric is a painting i really like doing i was so relaxed doing this because i had sleep i had rest and i had time so lots of energy lots of energy so i did him in the beach and the sun shining with the sun hitting his hair just right one of my friends actually wanted to marry prince eric unfortunately he's very much taken and with child he's the only prince that has an actual family so yeah. if you guys don't know ariel and eric had a daughter named melody, melody. so it's very canon it's in little mermaid three there's a tree oh yeah there's a tree melody i already watched it yeah and so i'm sorry to all the girls who are crushing on my prince eric he is very much sadly, taken I sadly i am not one of them right so this is the guy who is about to cry mappy who is this this is alfredo linguini from Ratatouille. Ratatouille. Ratatouille is a movie about finding your passion and going for it. Probably so, Ratatouille is hiding in there. So Remy is here. Oh, that's Remy? Yeah, Remy. I called him Ratatouille. Okay, his name is Remy. And this thing actually had a model. I will put the picture of Mario the Manuel the Andrea somewhere here here or here to show you what it was like before and now i actually asked and stalked manuel the andrea for permissions to paint his version of um uh, alfredo linguini just because i loved it so much plus i wanted to give him props for doing such a great great cosplay job i do love yes. cosplayers they are amazing so the effort that Manuel the Andrea did was definitely not forgotten with this piece. Next is Benny. He's not Benny. He's Benedict Cumberbatch. No, he's not. He's based off Benedict Cumberbatch, but his name is Roger Radcliffe from 101 Dalmatians. And yes, he is based on Benedict Cumberbatch because why the hell not? First of all, Benedict and Roger are both English guys. They have the same face shape, and they wear the same clothes. Mm, yeah. It's an English thing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I will never understand. So, the thing is with this one, is I used a very vintage scheme that was popular in the time. Um, what I did was went back to the videos and pictures of 101 Dalmatian and actually copied the colors that they used for roger radcliffe and the backgrounds that they have so this is very vintage i like how it looks for one the skin tone looks right two the colors are very vintage and looks old and cool Re just really cool next um, next we're flippity floppity it's mowgli mowgli is from the Jungle, Jungle Book. Book and this one came out really fast and it is one of my favorite paintings again Mappy really likes it too because the lighting is really pretty with this one I challenge myself to actually do some dramatic lighting with my paintings plus I want to explore some lost edges which was being talked about in my discord channel you can really see the sunlight that's hitting him around here ish yeah that's what dramatic lighting is all about and pretty soon i will be teaching this girl how to do some dramatic lighting with her paintings all right so with mowgli what i really loved about him is how fast he came about he came about in about 30 minutes 30 just 30 minutes just because i was concentrating on a small block and actually letting the paint go in the rest of the painting Next is um my favorite. One of Mappy's favorites. Well, movie. 
I like I really like this movie. Alright, we did the challenge for this one for me and Mappy. We did the Miguel from Coco challenge. This is Mappy's version and this is mine. So that is a really fun thing that we do together to bond. Okay, with Miguel from Coco. I used gouache with this one, but I was successful this time with gouache because I actually used it with opaque style. So that is a really cool thing. The background was really pretty with that, all those purple and yellows and the contrast of colors going on. Yeah. Plus, I did the lighting thing again where I reflected all the lights back into his white face. Yes. Okay. Who's next, Mappy? Um, creepy guy. He's not a creepy guy. He's Ralph from Wreck-It Ralph. And I just drew him in realistic form. So he's stop calling creepy. him creepy. Stop. All right. <laughs> so he's also drawn with and painted with gouache. This guy also was one of the things that I really like the skin tone of. Look at that blend. I it's pretty realistic to I me. I feel like I can sleep on his cheeks. Mappy thinks that he's chub chubs enough to sleep on his cheek. But then again, this is Ralph from wreck -It Ralph. Maybe he would allow it. I bet he would. Next is my worst painting. Sorry, mm. Zach Efron. But this is one of the paintings that I really, my sister really likes. But I was, mm, okay. I like it. it. Okay. His big blue eyes, his nice hair. I really liked him before. Okay, so the thing with Zac Efron is he has really pretty long lashes and long eyes. So that was what I concentrated on. With his cheek and neck and the fit and the likeness, I wasn't really that happy. So here we go. Here is Zac Efron from High School Musical as Troy. Going to the Troy, Troy Bolton. Bolton. We're, getting we're, to the end. we're getting to the end. And oh, here we go. Mappy likes this one. Favorite for so, me and um, mine and Mappy hers. did a good one. Hold on one second, Maps. So this is um, Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. So Mappy wanted me to show you because she's so proud of it her mad hatter and look it is cool i learned stuff from watercolor Fappy look Zach. learned how to gradient and stuff so it's a really cool photo of her painting we'll do the complete fl flip through of her work in her channel all right so here we go Je johnny depp did a really good job with the Mad Hatter and he is I cookie know. and he's one of my favorite actors plus he is very bright and colorful I used the Siami art watercolor set for this they sent it to me thank you very much to the good folks at Siami art ph the Hi. thing is um with this one I was trying to get to know the paint still so I still wasn't mm, really getting to know it as well I like that one um so it's a vibrant color but the thing is with it i think it's not very light fast i am seeing a lot of fading from when i first painted it to now with this painting as well i was trying to concentrate on his very nice eyes so Pretty i eyes. think i did a good job with it and for a first timer to use a certain kind of paint not bad it's not a bad attempt Plus, I was trying to get to know the palette well. So, CME Art is a good student grade brand, but it's a little bit. Oh, you have to take care of how to use it because it's it stains your palette a lot, and your paper it's actually hard to lift. That's one of the things that I just noticed from CME Art. Next is Prince, Prince Philip, Philip from Sleeping, Sleeping Beauty. Beauty. So Prince Philip it was drawn when I was very, very tired and sleepy. So Grumpy. I was grumpy. So I was painting him with less sleep. But I actually did quite an okay job. I would have done his hair differently or I his like face. His hair. But um, I could have done better. 
but a oh, thing I did right was actually did some good lighting on his face, some good transitions. Even when I am tired, I can still paint. I was committed to July Disney, guys, that much to paint this while I was half asleep. I kind of forgot to draw um, Roger Radcliffe. Okay, here we go. So this one I was painting with my new set of paints from Artillery Philippines. And it is this set, set of paint. This is the Mia Himi watercolor set. And it has 18 colors. And it is so vibrant that even though I am still looking at Peter Pan and thinking, Wow, look at those really pink cheeks that he has. You can see how well used it is because it's very messy. I really like also the background. I was still experimenting on how Mia Himi watercolors are working, but I really, really like this brand. It is professional grade almost. I don't know if it's a student or professional grade, but it, it really works well for a price. And Very guys, nice. I have a surprise for you. And if you, you use and want to try out the Mia Himi watercolor set, or the Mia Himi travel set, we have a 10% discount for you using the code ARTILMAR. That's A R T I L M M A R. And okay. I will place the link, the, the information around here or down below for a 10% discount on all Mia Himi products on the Shopee Shop just on the Shopee shop so use it when you check out so you can avail of a Mia Himi product at a 10% discount rate. Next, um, Next one is another one that is not a hero it's an anti-hero it's actually almost a villain he's one of the most controversial and conflicted characters i've ever known it's Kylo Ren. Mappy and i actually did a challenge for this and she painted Kylo Ren with me in battle. In, and he was in battle with Mappy's picture. Move, Mickey. Okay. So there is Kylo in his full gear with his mask. And while I did the Adam Driver version of this one because I was doing portraits. She kind of got frustrated. I was frustrated on how it was looking but when I looked at it again and asked friends if how they liked it, they actually know it's Adam Driver. So good. I think it's a good thing. Success. I liked how Mia Himi watercolors also did the highlights of the blue here. The next one Please. is our last yes. Disney guy. The one you can choose which one you do. So I did Harry. And Close. I did Sora. Sora is from the game called Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts. Hearts. And he visits a lot of the Disney guys, the Disney people, and the Disney places. Mappy did a Harry from the Descendants franchise. I, I did it. Sora. And I did it all on IG Live. You can check out how I did it on IG Live on my IG TV. He's very pretty. Mappy thinks he's very pretty. And this is my Mia Himi gouache, which I used for this as well. Again, if you want a 10% discount, Artil Mar on the Shopee Shop. And check it out. Next, last is Hiccup. Last is someone who is not from Disney, but we want to show it as well. Hiccup. It's Hiccup from How to Train Your Dragon. With an unnamed, with an unnamed, unnamed dragon, dragon behind him. We are not calling him Toothless. Because it's... I'm not uh, sure that Toothless is swing. So, definitely there's a dragon behind him. He looks this, like he's daydreaming. It looks like he's very happily daydreaming. And this is loosely based on Louis Aquino's cosplay. So Louis is a Filipino cosplayer who really looks like the actual hiccup. He looks like a real life hiccup. Oh. Yeah, awesome. so he's really good. What I like about this project is that 
I really did well on the armor and the hair. I like his face. Mappy yeah, likes yeah. this hair and his face. I love the armor. It was so detailed. It was fun working with my tiny brushes on this one. On IG Live, again, you can check out all my live stuff. I don't really delete them on IGTV. So that's it for Jade and July Disney, guys. Thank you, Mappy, for hanging out with me today. Click like Click the bell, like, and subscribe, and follow my Instagram. Mappy has an Instagram, and it's gonna be around here. It's Mappy Colors at Instagram, and I am Little Miss Marikit at Instagram. You can also find me on Facebook at Marikit Studios, and also on Twitter, the same thing, Marikit Studios. Or if you want to see all of my stuff, you can also go to my blog and website. It's marikitstudios.com. Um, again, thank you very much for watching. I know this is quite a long video, but we wanted to do it for you to explain and to react with you. Thank you, Mappy, so much for doing this with me. All right, so as Mappy said, click like and subscribe and ring that notification bell to let me know that of what I am up to next. Next month, I will be doing a fantasy theme so look forward to that we are going to bring toby to life toby woohoo okay thank you very much and have a magical day say bye mappy bye bye